Meat bicycle! Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Hunt here on Borderlands 2 today for our second episode. Uh, last episode we did a few bits but uh, ultimately ended off right here uh, in the vault of the warrior and uh, we was after um, either an impaler or a conference call drop mainly um, and we managed to get the conference call which very happy about. Took me about oh, God knows how many runs, um, like I said in the last video, and uh, it actually um, I actually got like six drops, seven drops, something like that before the conference call actually dropped, which I kind of predicted. Um, but yeah, we managed to get the conference call, so happy about that. So all that is left uh, for the warrior now is the impaler. So I'm going to start off with just two, maybe two or three runs of the warrior, just to uh, see if we can get the impaler. Well, uh, it was fresh off a nice uh, drop. Oh, you little... I thought... I thought that guy got me then. I felt like something got me. But it didn't take anything off me. So, uh, yeah, we'll start off with a couple of runs of the warrior. Just see if we can capitalise on uh, him dropping the, the conference call for us. And uh, if not, then we'll move on. Today, I'm thinking of doing a, uh, another... Um, Marcus Chess Farm... Um, to get something because that is really good source of uh, actually getting the legendary class mods, pearls, things like that. Again, we might have to sift through a few uh, other stuff. Wow, that was a really good money shot. We might get quite a few drops before we get something that we actually want, but uh, it's a very good way to get. I think I got a pill there last time, um, and like I said, the legendary class mods are there, all sorts of things like that. So, uh, yeah, I might finish off on uh, some Mr. Tinder Snowflake killing and some Marcus chest farming, um, but we'll see. We'll see. Might also go for a few random uh, chess farms as well. Uh, maybe the one in Frostburn Canyon, just see if we can get anything. I really need the legendary class mods uh, for a start, um, as well as any tubby drops and stuff like that. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what we'll do. Um, just winging it at the minute, not really got much of a uh, uh, massive plan. Just kind of doing bits and bobs here and there. Could also do we're going back to Hyperius at some point, maybe not today. Um, but we definitely need to start looking for that North Fleet because that's uh, probably the, the hardest thing to get right now. Maybe the Ogre as well at some point, but oh, Merdlin's Temple really is a stressful and long ass process. Um, but we are going to have to go for that Ogre at some point. Uh, not often you see a lot of loot go down there. I don't know what really Warrior's thinking at the minute, but uh, he's dropping things everywhere. Uh, nothing on there though. This is the, uh, the very first farm, actually, after the conference call I got to drop, um, which I got to drop last night. So hopefully, uh, you never know. We might be able to uh, to get two drops uh, pretty quickly. I doubt it. I think I'll probably have to go for another 100 runs um, and about seven duplicate legendaries and stuff like that before I actually see, uh, see it again. Especially the Impaler now. I mean, what he's got five drops plus all these random world drops. The chances of just getting the uh, the Impaler's drop before the volcano or the leech again or things like that is pretty low. But you never know with RNG. <coughs> it could be the very next thing on the list to drop. So we'll just have to sit back and uh, keep farming him. Like I said, uh, we'll leave the warrior for now. Um, do a couple of runs. Not going to focus too much on getting that Impaler just yet. Because uh, you never know, we could get it out of a Marcus chest. Um, oh, that's good. Go, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I missed every shot after that. Let's get that little gear down. Right, going to the left this time. Interesting. Mixing it up, are we? Come on. Not a bad shot, actually. If Gunzerk will stay with me and he'll come to the left, I should be able to get him. Oh, God. No, messed that one up. Did I? Oh, so close. Well, no matter what, he'll, uh, he'll come here. We'll just have to sand -orc him if guns are him back. Because I'm predicting he's going to come this way, but you never know. There you go, he's dead. Let's get some, get some bullets back while we wait. There's a legendary there, just dropped out, right there. Um, 
That'll be a random drop. Looks like a... Yeah, it was because that best people have been money. I think it was. Um, what is it? Shreddy fire. <laughs> already got, already got one of them. Thank you. But uh, yeah, legendary has dropped. What is that? That's just money. That looked a bit like a legendary as well. But uh, trick of the eyes. Um, shreddy fire drop. Could have done with that one before I started farming Hyperius. But hey, you got to take what you can get. And uh, unfortunately, that is it for this run. So, let's do one more run of the warrior, and then we'll move on to something else. I'm um, just trying to think of anything anything else I could do. Um, yeah, I think we'll just do a couple of chest farms, maybe in Frostburn Canyon. See if we can get anything there, and then uh, head to Mr. Tinder Snowflake. And see if we can get anything out of his uh, loot pool of chests. Um, while I'm here as well, I might bring the list up. No, I saw. I was going to say the list is uh, ready on screen right now. I think. Let me just check that quickly. So, uh, if we need help, yep, there it is. Okay. Um, I normally have it. I've got two monitors. I normally just have it on my second monitor. Um, oh God. Don't hurt me. Oh, you're an absolute knobhead. Absolute knobhead. Now he's... Oh, God. I don't like this one. Oh, no. I think we've stopped him. I was going to say, when he climbs up there, he sometimes climbs down and then does a big whoosh across the middle, and it's terrifying because it launches you up in the air. Stop him. There we go. Good gun, sir. As soon as he starts slowing down with the Harold, you can normally get a hell of a good shot. Right, come this way. Yes, good man, good man. Let's go, money shot, money shot, money shot, money shot. Ah, oh, not bad, but I ran out of uh, Gunzerk. Luckily it's back now. Dead. Up we go. No, thank you. Tried to uh, be naughty then and get a little cheeky shot in at me, but we're not having that. Right, no random drops. Okay, nothing came out then that I could see. What we got up here then? A purple, some money. Let's clear all this and just check there's nothing flew out. No, it didn't. Right, round the back then. Not holding out much hope for this run, but things have happened before, but not today. Okay, well, we had a good couple of farms in at him. Um, I've used this character for so long now, I can't remember the last time I actually did some rocket jumping gun zerking. Um, so that is going to change right now because I really want to uh, really missing it at the minute I need my rockets where are they there they are um, oh power 8 good let's head to Frostburn oh we're already here there you go fantastic right bada boom grenades let's fly oh god it's done that stupid thing where it clicks me off the screen well, that was a fail. There we go. Oh, I didn't think I was going to make that then. Come on then, it's supposed to be fast chest farming. That was a bad start. How can you fast chest farm? And it won't let you do it. Right. We'll, uh, we'll do about ten chests here, I think, maybe. See what we can do. Um... Launch me, thank you. Open then. Yes, grenades. I need grenades. Um, but nice to find a legendary or a pearl. Actually, I ain't had a pearl out of a chest in so long. Don't know how many more pearls we uh, we need though. Um, we'll have a look soon. Right. Come on, speed this up. 
It's supposed to be a fast chest, and you're not being very fast. E tech, get me grenade back. Just the one. Fair enough. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to doing Merlin's Temple, but I am going to have to in a future episode, I think. Um, the only good thing at the minute about Merlin's Temple is we still need not only the Ogre, but the uh, Magic Missile times 4. So we've still got two chances of getting something, which is always good, because it means that you don't have to work as long for it, if you get what I mean. Um, so no matter what, we should get one drop sooner than the other one. You never know, we might get them on the same run actually. But uh, yeah, I really do need to get that Magic Missile times 4 off the list. So I might have to head to Merlin's Temple soon. Uh, but I've got a feeling that's going to be uh, a Legendary Runner style farm for me. What is wrong with me today? I normally master this shit. But today I'm failing, I'm not jumping right, I'm not making it, I'm blooming clicking off the screen by accident. It's a good job we're not really under pressure for time at the minute. Go. I want to see some results now. Um, yeah, we still need the quasar as well, we are going to have to try and spawn an ultimate badass barkid at some point again, not something I'm really looking forward to just by how long it takes, there we go, we're back up to 10 grenades now I might have a quick run to um, see if we can get any ultimate badass barkids to spawn um, and again it takes so long and it's annoying but we could have a quick go we do need that quasar. I'll never get vermid spawn. Now they've taken the four player um, trick away, but uh, I don't know if I'll even be able to get an ultimate badass to spawn by myself, but we'll give it a go. If not, like I said, these Marcus chests are the best way, or just random speed farming chests like I'm doing now. You never know, a, qu a quasar could pop up. Open. I just want a legendary, even if it's a duplicate of something we've already got. Just give me a bloody legendary. I'm not going to spend too much longer on this, I don't think. But uh, it'd be nice to uh, it'd be nice to see something. Then again, we did get a uh, a legendary from that chest outside um, on Heroes Pass last episode. I think that's where I cut it back in. Actually, it was a was it? Yeah, it was a Harold, I think, if I remember correctly. Oh, you are crap. Come on. Where are the legendaries at? We'll do another three or four runs, I think, of this, and then we'll head off. Might do one terror run quickly as well. I just like uh, mix and matching at the minute. I don't like spending the whole episode doing one thing. We've spent 100... I mean, 20 something episodes doing that now, so uh, I just like the uh, the clearing up part, just going around, taking my chance with a couple of runs, and then moving on to something else. It's probably not the most efficient way to farm, but like I said, I'm putting the time in behind the scenes by uh, making sure we get a drop every single time anyway, so it doesn't really matter what I do on camera, it's just uh, that random chance that we might actually get something. Plus, it's fun to just. Uh, go three or four places in the episode and oh I forgot about these oh crap this is not good news there we go holy crap you scared the shit out of me and he dropped absolutely nothing completely forgot about legendary loot midgets in Frostburn Canyon that was scary nothing fell down did it no well Nice to see an appearance from him, but uh, next time, a bit of warning would be nice. I didn't think they could come out of chests. I know they come out of the little ammo crates in Frostburn, but I've never had one come out of a chest before. Oh, scary shit. I've just realised as well. Um, when I clicked... I 
moved my recording screen so we lost uh, a little bit of bottom but it doesn't matter you guys probably won't notice it but we fixed it now right up we go a couple more runs and then uh, oh I've clicked off again for God's sake this never did this for about four years of me YouTubing and in the last six months it's done it again my god and now look I've extended it why are you doing that you pain in the backside right come on I will get up here <laughs> I don't know why it does it or why it started doing it but it has right what should we say three more yeah we've got to put a number on it because if not I could stay here all day three more runs Give me a bunny. Oh, I've just noticed as well. Look at this. Bad YouTube in here. There we go. You should be able to uh, only see screen now, not parts of my... Uh... <laughs> oh. What are you doing to me? Why is this so hard? All I've got to do is jump on top of a bloody shack and then grenade jump onto a cliff. It's not rocket science. Yeah, I seem to be messing up. Why? Yeah, there we go. Right, let's get back on. I can't even get... Yes, I can. Right. Two more runs. Oh, it's clicked off the flipping screen again. I'm having a nightmare here. Seems to be when I'm rocket jumping more than anything, or gunzerking. Doesn't seem to do it with the other characters. Right, I could do with a few grenades back here. Right, one more run, because I'm fed up now. Can't pull off a simple task. Right, come on, let's just have a clean run. There we go, thank you. I thought I was going to uh, miss the cliff then. Okay, well, massive waste of time. Hardly anything done there. Um, I was going to say, do we do a terror run? No, we don't. We do a... We'll go Marcus Chess Farming. Um, so, select character. I need to be back with that one. I need to be there. I need to be there. And overpower 8. That's fine. And then, we come here. We change that to... Um, I want the... What do I want? I want the incendiary. And I want the firebone. Okay. And then we're going to Marcus's Mercenary Shop. For some Christmas presents. And time to open a load of random chests and get 5 million legendary berserker class mods. Because that's what all I only ever seem to get out of them. And a shed load of things that uh, we've already got. Hey, you never know, we could get a pearl. We got a pearl uh, about six episodes ago, I think. So fingers crossed. How much, oh, I've got plenty of SMG ammo. I was gonna say, if not, I'll just come Zerk and regen it. The run to, uh, the run to Snowflake might give me enough ammo to just keep it at a certain level. We'll check next run. Okay. What we we've got 12, 13 minutes, no, 11, 12 minutes left, so we should be able to get three or four runs into this guy before the half an hour mark. Depending on how quick I can kill him, I'm pretty sure he's pretty easy anyway. Especially now I, uh, I use the Sandorg instead of the Infinity. I can't believe I used the Infinity for so long. I know it wasn't good, but um, I just couldn't be bothered to... That's it, if you uh, if you Gunzerk with the Harold and Grog, he spends most of his time going underneath the snow and pushing you out of the way and that, so you need to stand far away from him. That's why I didn't just go out and uh, Infinity and Grog the hell out of him. Plus he keeps smacking you with snowballs and stuff like that, and it's just, uh, well, you've got no chance of keeping your, uh, your amp damage up from your B, so that's why we hide over here. And then just chuck a load of magic missiles at him, which none of them really hit. And then... Go, 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 go! Why did none of them hit him? Oh god. 
I think we're screwed already. Yes, we are. Right, well, I'll just put you down like this then. You can't beat the power of a grog nozzle. Oh, we nearly killed him. Oh, God. Right, here we go. Well, that didn't go as planned. Actually, yeah, let's regen some ammo. You're such a dick. Yes, I am. Right. Let's get a shift on. Presence, presence. Will we get a legendary in the first run? Probably. I mean, legendaries do drop quite well on this. I tend to find every three to five runs, you guarantee the legendary on this pretty much. They, uh, they're pretty good for it. There you go, see? Told you, it's a shield. Please be an impaler. That'd probably be a cradle knowing my look. But if you were an impaler, I'd be pretty damn happy with that. It's a sham. 78% sham. Where was you when I was spent all that time at the bunker? Let me just check. I, I'm pretty sure I've definitely got the sham. But I'm going to check that anyway. Um, is it under T? The sham. Yes, we have got it. I thought I had, but... Um, it was worth a shot. I remember being at the bunker a lot, but I remember farming for the sham a lot and not getting it. So I just had to check that one. Okay, um, let's get some pistol ammo back, may as well while we're here. I'm pretty sure I'll be able to full gun Zerk and get my get it back before we actually get Tinder spawn, but we'll try it. It's just a nice cheap way of uh, building your ammo up actually, so Especially if you've got two weapons of the same type in your hand as well, they both regen at the same time. Right, it's not actually took as long as I thought it was to do one run, so we might be able to get more than three runs in here. I hope, anyway. Just love this DLC. I know I've said this plenty of times before, but I just love the whole look of it. I love being in the snow. I love uh, the graphics, which seem to be, st they are still obviously like the rest of the game, but they just seem to be a bit more, I don't know how to describe it, just effective, if you know what I mean by that. But yeah, this is definitely my favourite, I think this is my favourite head on the DLC. I do like uh, Bloody Harvest, but uh, it's dark and scary, and uh, this is just a lovely place to be, actually. There's nothing scary about a giant snowman either. No matter how much he tries to uh, to make it scary, it's still a giant snowman. What's so scary about snowmen? Why did that miss him again? Ah, oh, that got him. Come on, then. There we go, you're going to die very soon. Please don't do that thing for yet. Yes, I was going to say, let me at least get you. Right, let's get some more pistol ammo back. You're such a dick, thank you. Raise the elevator for me. Right, second run then. Can we get two legendaries in a row? Possibly not. Or can we get a pearl? That'd be even better. I think all the pearls are in the loot pool. Not just the new ones. We'll see though. Still plenty of pearls left to get actually. Now it's green. Whoop! Nothing up there. Nothing down here. Okay. We'll go again then. And uh, yeah, as always, if we don't get anything, let me sit back actually. I've been sat forward for 25 minutes now and it's uh, there's no point to it. Sit back, relax, get farming. Uh, yeah, like I was saying, let's regen pistol ammo. Um, 
I do a couple more runs of this, get to about the 30 minute mark and uh, then it's up to me to do it legendary run style where um, I'll keep going until I get a drop. Not just any drop, a drop that actually ticks something off the list as well. Like I said in the last episode with Warrior Farming, I'll probably end up getting about five, six blooming things. Maybe more uh, that we've already got before getting something good. Hopefully not though, hopefully we just get a nice pearl. Or a um, legendary class mod, or a quasar I could do with, a nice quasar, whatever you want to pronounce it. A bunny would be nice. Or the fire bee. Something that's pretty difficult to get. Hey, you never know, might get an ogre. That'll help me. And then again, I do still need to go back to Merlin's Temple for the magic missile times four. So, uh, then again, I'd rather have an ogre from the chest <coughs> and uh, not have to farm Merlin's Temple for it, but we'll just have to see what comes. Ding, 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 ding. Come on then, Tinder. We should should be able to get this running and one more, I think, before uh, I farm by myself. Hopefully, if we're quick enough. Come on then. Oh, that's a good start. Oh, he knows it as well. He knows it as well. You can't get me. Got him. Blow all you want, mate. I smashed you that time. My beautiful heart. Look at this. 650 rounds of pistol already. It's definitely worth doing when you're just wandering around with no enemies around. Just get a bit of Gunzerk on the go, get the regen going. Nice and cheap. Saving me money. Then again, I'm pretty sure I'm on 99 million, so I don't need any money. But hey, got to think of the finances. Right, I actually have to sit forward for this bit so I can see straight away. Um, is that any tech? No, it's just part of the... Uh, Oh, nothing. Nothing again. Let me just double check. A oh, white. I hate seeing whites. In a nice chest like this, why put whites in it? Right. Sit back again. Final run. Oh, so let's stretch quickly as well. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Ready for it. And yeah, let's get it. wow, 750 rounds now. Building up the stocks. What am I like on my sand orc? Oh, plenty, 1700. Right, let let's finish this. Come on, last chance to get a live drop on camera don't make me have to do it all by myself again no, I'm pretty sure we're at the stage now where we've got nearly everything uh, so it's going to be hard to find stuff especially with something like those chests because they'll have you know a hundred different legendaries or whatever and pearls in their loot pool and we only need about ten so uh, that's not good odds in finding something that we need. But we did, like I said, three episodes ago, we got a pearl from it that we didn't have, so uh, it happens. I don't think it took me that long to get it either, so if I remember. So we'll see. Ding, fries are done. That's, that always reminds me of Family Guy. <coughs> right, let's grab a drink quickly. Let's prepare to melt the snowman. Let's chuck four out this time. I don't know if any of them are eating him, but... Go, 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 go. Oh, he's marching. He's not even attacking this time. He's just marching to me. 
Damn. Right, I'm going to have to do this here. Give me health back. My beautiful heart. I'm really going to get sick of hearing that if I have to do this too many times. It's the only trouble with farming things over and over again. It really gets repetitive, especially when they do things like that. If they just died normally and didn't say oh, it's fine. But when they say things when they're dying, you hear it a hundred times. It starts to drive you a bit batty. Right, come on then. Last chance. Let's have a look what we've got. Okay, it seems my luck is not with it today. That is absolutely pants loot. But hey, we got a sham in the first run, and then unfortunately nothing since. But it's time for me to do this by myself. So, um, like I said last episode as well, the next run you see might not be something that we can tick off the list, but it will be a legendary pearl or something like that. Um, but you might see about four or five of them, because, or maybe more, ten, hopefully not twenty. But uh, I'll just keep bringing you guys the uh, quick recap of the drops we get. But I'll keep going until we get something off the list today. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. Well, here we go then. We are back, which means we have gotten ourselves a drop. But it uh, doesn't come quickly. It actually takes seven uh, attempts to get something that we haven't already got. So I'm going to run through them um, with you guys now. The first thing that we actually got was the Legendary Berserker class mod. Um, which we already had, which is a, a bit of a shame. But uh, yeah, it's not the biggest shame of uh, the drops by far because this guy came along, uh, which is my most hated shield ever, the Cradle. So I wasn't too happy about getting that thing. But hey, you've got to sift through the crap to get something good. So number three came in the form of a legendary pistol, and that is the Gunarang, which obviously we already got from Rackman. Um, but yeah, we were actually getting some decent drops now. This didn't take too long actually. I was getting a legendary every five attempts, I think, uh, at least. Sorry, at the very most. Um, once again, another legendary Berserker class mod came along fourth, um, which again was we've already got, and not too uh, not too happy about that. But I do love this random aspect of not knowing what you're going to get at all. I love um, playing with uh, random world drops or the uh, the chances for random world drops and uh, look at this one this is a, a, a hell of a chest here the dream uh, if I didn't have any of these uh, so first we got a legendary infinity pistol right there and of course you can see that color uh, to the left that is a pearlescent weapon unfortunately we have already got it it is the pearl butcher um, to the second to last drop before I actually get something decent uh, and I, <laughs> once again being trolled completely uh, there seems to be increased chances maybe of getting these crap shields but once again there is another cradle so that's two cradles two legendary berserk class mods a gunnerang an infinity a pearl butcher and then finally here we go another pearl look right there very happy about that and that is actually our drop for today um, which I couldn't be happier with really these pearls aren't too easy to find um, I don't think one zero one guy drops all of them so uh, to get the ones that you haven't already got on the list are pretty damn nice um, and like I said this took about 50 runs in total uh, right here I'm just bringing up the list just to uh, check 100% that we haven't got it and as you can see right there we haven't the stalker top right second one down um, so yeah, there you go. That is our legendary of today and as usual I'm full in my inventory So to pick this up, I'm gonna have to empty some crap out. Sorry about that guys But uh, yeah a pearl stalker very very happy indeed about that now I'm not the biggest fan of pearl weapons in this game. They are not as good as a, uh, the ones in Borderlands 1 which uh, are pretty game-changing really they're very very powerful indeed. They're still pretty damn good in um, in Borderlands 2, but I'd say oh, easy 40% of the legendaries in Borderlands 2 are better than pearls, and I use no pearls at all ever really in um, in Borderlands 2. I see a lot of people using the Butcher a lot you know, with a gun zerking setup, but not for me definitely. I've never really used the Stalker too much, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a quick go now. I do like this uh, weapon that it bounces off and um, ricochets off. Um, the floor and things like that, that's pretty handy, especially with that gauge skill where uh, 
ricocheting bullets actually hit enemies um, pretty easy to target enemies that so uh, not a bad skill at all to use it on but as you can see right here with all these yetis uh, without B damage especially this thing ain't great but uh, hey we've, uh, we've got it and it's the fact that we need it for the list so uh, it doesn't matter if we use it a lot or uh, if it's any good it's the fact that we've got it now to add to our list so pretty damn happy at that anyway thank you guys for watching another episode of the hunt that was episode 125 and we've managed to get ourselves a pearlescent stalker crossed off the list so be back soon for more hunting more searching for legendary pearlescent unique you name it and uh, yeah thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one